guys, I'm Therese, and on September 13th, it's National Kids Take Over the Kitchen Day. So I'm collaborating with other King community creators to kick the parents out of the kitchen so that the kids can be in charge. And I can make whatever I want. So of course, being a kid, I choose chocolate, because who wouldn't? So I'm gonna challenge myself today and make a flower made out of chocolate. Let's go. What you're gonna need for this project is obviously some chocolate. I have some white chocolate and milk chocolate. You can use dark chocolate, whatever your preference is. And I have about two cups of each. I have two peanut butter cups. I have some freeze spray that I can use to set the chocolate. I have some orange and red colored cocoa butter, something to make the petal shapes so it can use a knife. I'm just using one small spatula and a larger one. I have a paintbrush and these are food safe, never have touched paint. It has only ever touched colored cocoa butter. And we have a food scraper, so just something to scrape the chocolate with. And I have a mallet to crush the ice, but where you can use the back of a spoon or anything that you think will crush it. And I have some acetate so that the chocolate won't stick to anything. So I have my double boiler, which is basically a pot of boiling water with the bowl on top with our chocolate in it. Now that our chocolate is melted, we're gonna crush up some ice to put in a bowl for our base. Make sure not to crush it too small or else we're not gonna have a very cool looking base. So we're just going to crush each chunk of ice about once. So hit it once or twice until it just shatters into like a few pieces. Okay, so now that your ice has formed little pieces about that big, so not too small, not too big, we're going to pour our ice into a bowl. Now we're just gonna use our hands to kind of take ice out and move it around to make um, a hole deep enough for our chocolate to get poured in. And make sure it's pretty deep so that your base isn't flat, it's more tall. The reason we have our ice in a bowl like this is because it gives our base a really cool shape and texture, plus it helps the chocolate freeze a little bit faster. So we're just gonna pour our now tempered chocolate into our ice. Now we're gonna stick this bad boy into the freezer until it freezes. Now our white chocolate is melted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our bowl. Now if you guys have a circular mold or sphere, whatever you really have, then use that, but we don't have that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use a balloon. We've just cut off the top part of it and we're going to use it to stretch around the top of this mason jar. Now you can use any jar you want, even a small cup would do. So we're just going to do that. Now you can let a little bit of the air out and push down so that there's a little cavity for the chocolate to go in. So now we're just going to fill our balloon up with our white chocolate. So now that our chocolate is in our balloon, what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the mason jar and put it in our freezer. And we're gonna hang it just so that it doesn't have any flat edges so that when it hardens, it will be beautiful. Before we do anything else, we need to paint our acetate sheets with our colored cocoa butter. And you need to use colored cocoa butter versus other water-based dyes because those water-based dyes could have a potential to break or seize the chocolate if you add too much. And the colored cocoa butter will just, if we paint it on, it will dry while we're doing the bulbs and the chocolate will fuse with the cocoa butter making a beautifully colored petal. So I'm just gonna paint the bottom colored first. We're just going to paint our bottom color on the bottom half of our acetate sheet. Make sure you're using long strokes that go all the way across the acetate. Make sure it's only going one direction. Now we're going to do the top half and I'm just gonna switch sides with my brush. And we're gonna kinda make it so that they blend together a little bit. So now that our colored cocoa butter is dry to the touch, 
we are just going to take our two spatulas. You can really use whatever you want, as long as one's bigger and one's smaller. So I'm going to make three rows on the, of petals on the flower all together. I'm going to have two rows with the small one and one row with the big one, six petals per row. So that means I'm going to make 12 petals with this one and six petals with this one. So I put it in a smaller glass, just high enough so that I can put in my knife and take it out. Okay? So I am going to get started on this. We're just going to dip our spatula in here and we're going to wipe off the part that isn't going to be on our flower. We're going to flip it over and we're just going to, as close to the edge as we can, press it down and pull up just a little bit and bring it back so it has that nice stem. But make sure your chocolate layer isn't too thin or else it's going to crack when you try and take it out. So if it's, there's any imperfections, like there's parts where you can see through, you can just take a little dab of chocolate and just fix that. So we're gonna repeat this 11 more times and six more times with this one. Now your acetate sheet's probably gonna hold a little bit more than you're actually gonna need. So it's good to have extras just in case one of them breaks in production, which has happened to me. And having an extra is just very helpful. Okay, so we don't necessarily want flat petals, do we? So I am going to just tape them like this so that our acetate sheet is kind of curved and then our chocolate will also begin to be curved and it'll set like that so that the chocolate will form around my bulb instead of just sticking straight up. So I'm going to do this with this one. So I'm just going to kind of measure about how curved I want it. And then stick the tape on. And I'm going to do this with all the sides so that it's about the same. So now we're going to take these and put them in the fridge. And once they're hardened, we're going to start assembling our flower. You guys, I am so excited. These are turning out amazing. And we're going to start assembly. So I just cut off the bottom of our bulb just a little bit so it'll lie flat on our peanut butter cups, which we are going to glue together with chocolate. And just to speed up the process a little bit, we are going to use our free spray to set the chocolate. Now make sure it's food grade, not the stuff that you use to take off warts. So we are going to do our petals after that, and then we're going to attach it to our base. So without further ado, let's go. And make sure not to use too much chocolate because you don't want to have it coming out the sides. And if it does happen to come out the sides, you can always just use a knife to clean that up a little bit. So now I'm just going to use our free spray. And Obviously, make sure you don't hurt yourself or anything because um, this could give you frostbite, so don't spray your hand or do anything like that. And a little goes a long way with this. So now we're just going to attach our bulb. We're just going to put it on the base of our bulb and just stick it on there. Again, we don't want too much. And this will mostly be covered by the petals, so you don't have to worry about it. There we go. So we're just going to take off our petals and put them onto our plate. Like so. And don't freak out if they're not perfect. No flower is perfect. And this will make your flower even more unique. I also made a second batch of petals just in case the other ones break. Um, and these ones seem to have turned out a lot better than the other ones. So I'm mostly going to use these ones on the outer layer and the other ones on the inner layer. So again, you have to work fairly quickly or else the chocolate will melt in your hands. So I'm just going to take my petal and dip it in my chocolate, fuse it to the flower, and make it hug it pretty close. And then spray just a little bit with my free spray. Don't spray it too much or else the chocolate tends to crack. So now we're going to do our second row and we're just going to fill in the spaces right here and they're going to be out a little bit compared to our first row. So I'm just going to move on to the big leaves now. We're just going to put these on and we're going to do them in a way that we cover some things that we don't like.
This looks amazing. I am so happy with it. Now we're just going to attach it to our chocolate base with some milk chocolate and we'll be done. Now doesn't this look amazing? And it wasn't even that hard to make. Be sure to check out all of the other King Community Kids Take Over the Kitchen videos and I'll link those down in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and have a great day. Bye!